Hi everyone and welcome to my channel OG Star Wars and today is May 10th so I want to wish all the women out there the 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 I guess you could say the matrix are the ones that hold down their families a happy Mother's Day um I hope your day was pleasant filled with a lot of love and um, family bonding as we are going through this social distancing still um so thank you again to all the mothers out there my day was great I enjoyed myself and so I hope you guys did as well. So we are looking into what Ichibaka had posted here. So again, please follow him on YouTube and Twitter. I will link his um, channels and his social media down below in the description. So basically the big debate that has always been going on in Star Wars, even before the acquisition of Star Wars by Disney is what is actually canon to the lore, the overall lore. And from what we all understood, um, basically, is that the movies in general set the foundation. They are the fundamentals of Star Wars, and that's the six movies that George Lucas created. And then we have a tier um, hierarchy, basically, where we have the C, S, N canon, and then shortly, like a little bit long towards the end before the acquisition of Star Wars by Disney, then we end up having a T canon, which only included the Clone Wars, but it did not include include any other television series that was produced by George Lucas himself. So, and that is T canon. And so all of those basically are canon to the lore. They help make up the floor, the lore, but the overall foundation again is the movies, which George Lucas has stated that you know, his movies sets precedence over everything else in Star Wars. And so we have this here from Disney Star Wars is Dumb by Ichibaka here. And this is something that came out from one of the one of the main people in the story group, Matt Martin, who says it's okay to reject the Disney canon. And so today or it looks like in, on May 8th, and I think this also times down May 9th, and we'll take close analysis to this, further analysis to this. Um, basically, he's saying, you know, whatever you decide is canon, then go for it, whether it is our new lore or the past lore or anything in between. And so basically, again, he is saying that, you know, um, they really don't, pay much close attention to what is canon. And of course, George Lucas has never stated the word canon when he talks about Star Wars and what is the hierarchy of the lore and basically the movies in his and in his right. And he is the boss. The movies are the ones that set precedence for the lore. So let's take a look here. Um, so Matt Martin, Martin from the Lucasfilm Story Group recently tweeted out the following. All right, so and here is a um, the tweets here. I'm not going to click on there to further get into it. I'm just going to use what is here right now. So basically, um, uh, Martin Langston, hey, a tweet you made earlier about canon versus non-canon sort of confused me. I completely understand the part about enjoying something, le um, something less just because it didn't happen within the fictional universe. It's still still read EU stuff and play Sator. So, um, and then he continues with, but I also do that knowing very well that if Star Wars were theor um, theoretic theor theoretically, excuse me, real, these would not be actual events, sort of fiction, with fiction within fiction. It's not accurate, thanks. Um, so basically he is talking about the last time, last time Matt Martin tweeted about, you know, they really don't pay attention to what is canon, it's just Star Wars basically. And I find that kind of um, funny and contradicting because when Disney acquiesced Star Wars, they basically put out a statement that anything that's not the movies, that's included in the EU, um, and wasn't directly involved with George is, not canon anymore and why i find that contradicting is that if you look through even the novels and do the research and see the um interviews with some of the authors george was highly involved with creating the story and he also helped put a guideline of rules on what they can and cannot do they also contacted him and also through his story group i guess you can say that was established during that time 
um, to make sure that the Lord, that everything that they did and wrote about was approved by George and George, especially the film characters like Luke, Han, and Leia. Um, they basically made sure that they created something that was along the line of what George wanted the lore to be. And he also put the EU in the prequel trilogy as well. So let's go ahead and read further into this. So Matt Martin commenting on May 9th. I think the point that I was making was that what is and isn't canon informs how future stories may be told, but it doesn't need to di dictate how individual fans enjoy their own personal Star Wars story. And so basically he's saying, you know, whatever we put out and whatever previously put out shouldn't dictate what the fans want to enjoy when it comes to Star Wars. And so this goes into the big debate a little bit more. And I even tweeted my own tweet like a few couple of days ago about saying, you know, just because I enjoyed George Lucas era of Star Wars doesn't shouldn't take away from what you enjoy even especially if you enjoy Disney Star Wars. And so let's read further into this. So in the ex example earlier, the person was asking about recanonizing a past story since that specific story hasn't been explored in the new canon. And I find that interesting because it's already been explored and Disney basically said that they don't want to use the EU now coined legends for the simple fact that they wanted the freedom of creativity and to make Star Wars in their own light, in their own eyes, or in their own vision. And I said, it, if they like that story, there's no reason they can't accept it as real in their version of Star Wars. So again, we're retracting again on, you know, whatever you feel, whatever you like about Star Wars and you feel compassionate about, uh, as a Star Wars fan, then that's what you're going to stick with. And with me, it's a George Lucas era of Star Wars because that's the original lore that was built off the movies. And then he continues again, but if there was a an opportunity to tell that story, now that new creator would not be beholden to the old version of the story. And I find that, again, contradicting because when they do bring something from the past in, they try to rehash the story and it ends up um less desirable than it has been and then these characters that may have been brought in like for example Thrawn is just the shell of the character that we knew him as from the original lore because he does not have the same arc and same storyline and there was the events are different to how it got him there so basically that is very different so again they can't they don't have to be beholden to it but then why rehash the stories and then change it up a lot when they could just go ahead and just not even use the character whatsoever or if they like the chiss then use a different chiss character um and expand off of that that's how i feel about that i don't know if you guys agree with me or not fine it's okay and then he continues so to summarize there is is a reason that we need to internally know what is and isn't canon so we can keep our line of official story telling as aligned as possible but that doesn't mean fans can individually pick and choose what they want to accept as true so now it seems like he's retracting from the last time he spoke about that um because he's getting questions about it but when you look at the overall lore there is a lot of retconning going on so we and and he even stated that there are some things that he didn't know about and he's a part of the story group when it came to story plots in the rise of skywalker and then also when you compare that with like the novelization bloodline their um leia centric story um that also contradicts um her becoming a jedi because she, that's that's around the line of 28 ABY. And she states in there that she didn't accept any training whatsoever. She was strictly going to be a politician. So again, they're not keeping their storyline straight. And so let's expand a little bit more. It's all fake anyways. And we know that it's fantasy, but fantasy, like George Lucas set up this 25 millennium of history and lore with, with his story groups, I guess you can say, um off based off the movies and it was basically set world records he's got some world records um guinness world records for that because he's the only company that's done this 
And so when, when fans invest into something like this, um, they get highly involved, even though it's fantasy, it's something that takes us out of the real world and we get involved. And so we want to know what's going on with these characters, no matter if it, you know, fake or not, we want to know their story. And then, so he says, you can choose an, to accept whatever you want as part of the story. So again, you know, he's like, do what you want. We're going to do what we want, obviously. If you choose to only accept the real official canon, cool. So the real official canon to me is basically George Lucas era of Star Wars. If you like to mix and match between um, continuities, cool. If you, continuities, cool. If you like to make up your own stories, also cool. So with that, if people now are making up their own stories and even doing it on YouTube, does this now give them permission? Because he basically stated this on Twitter. If you make up your own stories, that's cool. So if people fan, people make up their fan fiction and post it on YouTube in little animation stories, will that um, will they then try to take it down for copyrights? So this is now going to be further in question, and I do that as well. I question that little statement as well, especially those who are brilliant with, um, you know, with their fan fiction stories when it comes to Star Wars. <clears throat> great. So this is what Ichibaka says is it's great. I, as a fan, will pick and choose what I want to accept as true. My own personal Star Wars story rejects the in, uh, um, entirety of this canon. So this canon, if you guys don't know, Disney canon, this canon, and I use that as well. And there is no reason that I can't accept Lucas era Star Wars or Legends as real because it's all fake anyways. And I can choose to accept what I want as true so and he continues to say let's just hope disney's lawyers don't get involved when fans decide to make their own stories and that goes back to this right here whoops i can't highlight it. it's not gonna let me highlight it but basically what he says cool if you like to make up your own stories also cool so basically he's given the green light make up your own stories that's cool whether it'll be accepted on YouTube um, as a little anime and brilliant storytelling that I've seen on there before. Um, we will find out when the copyright starts coming out from Disney Lucasfilm. So what do you guys think about this little revelation here? Again, what I, you know, I, I did touch basis about this as well. My channel is so, mainly on a George Lucas era of Star Wars and what that means to me, continuing the story, sharing the stories, the novels, lore, all of that, and um, and some news and compare and contrast between the new lore and the original lore. Many people don't like that I compare and contrast and that's okay as well, but I like to share what was originally established and how great it was compared to what's going on now. So. Thank you again. Um, please share in the comments below what you think about this. You know, what do you like? Do you like George Lucas era of Star Wars or Legends? And that includes the movies as well. Do you like Disney Star Wars or do you like something in between? Um, let me know um, what, what your, basically, I'm going to put, state this, headcanon is. And so we are in the month of May. And so I am calling this month Star Wars month. And May 25th is one of the biggest days in Star Wars because um, it's when A New Hope, our Star Wars originally came out and also Empire Strikes Back. So I am planning something for that that day before um, Toxic Femininity. I may have guests. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to approach this, so stay tuned. So thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.